Now we are going to see inner working of a computer. Inner, we have seen the external part of the computers now. We know the external devices of the computer. So, within computer, what are the things is happening? What is occurring inside the computer? Only we are going to see now. It is the overall structure of the computer. Okay? What are the things here? Input devices, output devices, storages, RAM, ROM, next CPU. CPU you need called ALU, internal communication, register, control section. Like that only. It is the overall structure of the computer. So now we are going to see deeply. Just look. This is the GPU chips. What is it? CPU chips first. CPU chips means the microprocessor we can say as a microprocessor next ALU ALU means arithmetic logic and unit it is the process of calculating next internal communication it will communicate with the each and every parts of the computer next register it is the temporary storage okay register is the temporary storage next control section it only control overall the CPU or overall the computer is Controlled by the control section only. So next, this side, storage or input or internal memory. Input or internal memory means what? So, input, internal memories. What are the internal memories? Two internal memories are there. One is RAM, another one is ROM. RAM, it is a read and write. We can read at the same time, we can write. After reading, if we need to make any modification means we can do in RAM. But ROM is the read only memory. Read only memory means only we can read. We cannot change anything in ROM. So each and everything was connected through the bus system. Bus system means a cable. Okay. Next. Internet input interface that is input devices. What are the input devices you know? Keyboard, mouse, joystick, mic. Light pen, etc. Like there are so many input devices in that. So that all comes under input devices. Next, output devices or output interface. What are the output interfaces are the monitor, printer. Next, projector we are using. So this and all comes under the output devices. Next, storage, input, external in memory. External memory means what ma'am? Which are the things stored externally is called a external memory. Just look at hard disk, CD-ROM, pen drive, and next memory card. So that number comes under the external memory. So hard disk, you can say sir, hard disk is inside the computer only. How it will comes under the external external storage device? You can ask like this. But Though it is connected inside the computer, but we can remove it easily and we can remove one hard disk from one computer, we can fix in another and we can be able to use with that. So it also comes under the external storage device only, okay. It is the overall structure of the computer. First thing is CPU or CPU chip or microprocessor, next ALU is used for calculating Next, internal communication. It will communicate with the each and every parts of the computer. Next, register. It is a temporary storage. Next, control section. This is the process occurring inside the CPU. This side, we are having. One more thing, what is it? RAM ROM. It also comes under the CPU only. RAM and ROM. Next, input devices and output devices. Storage. Everything is inside the CPU only. Okay, it is the overall system, computer system. Just listen, it is the internal parts of computer or inner workings of computer. It is the turbo fan. Okay, next it is the processor, processor slot and processor. It is the RAM. What is it? RAM. It is RAM. Next, it is the CMOS battery. It is the mini battery inside the computer. Next, these are the RAM, ROM, and we have said no, that is like that only. Next, it is the hard disk. Okay, next, here only it is the power cable. So, through this cable only we will get the power. Next, 
this port is for the cd rom so this place is for the cd rom next this is the multi processor this is the multi processor just look here this is the vga okay vga cable port next it is networking port what is it networking port so through this we can connect the networks next it is the usb port you know no how why we are using usb to insert a pen drive to connect the mobiles through the via usb cables and all no that is the it is the usb port next it is the power cable okay through this only we will connect the power next this is the speaker it is the inner section of the laptop okay this both the things are comes in speaker next what is there this and all other components which are used for many purposes next this is the what is it mic and headset we will connect now 3.2.11 jack 3.5 jack like that it will be audio audio jacks audio ports next cpu it will works like this only okay so through the cables i have set the buses now so just look within this so many lines will be gone okay so this and all called as a bus so through this lines only without any cables each and everything is connected through this buses only okay so here just look this are the things so each and every process is mentioned here 